Well, Kitty Boys Girl has come through to win yoga's governor, Sean Veal. Uh, well done to Prashen, who's on course with his family, and of course, CM Pele and Imbalegilele as the winning uh, groom. He takes care of Kitty Boys Girl. Well done to you. Congratulations, 1,000 Rand Hollywood Bets and Gold Circle. Well done. Well, she's definitely rewarded the groom, and it's Sean Veal and Yoga's Governor. Whilst we wait for Sean, I think we'll first get Yoga's Governor in. Uh, well done, Yogis. I mean, um, each time she's come to the track, I know that you guys expected her to put in the performance like she did today. Yeah, Adiz, thank you very much. Yeah, she's been a bit disappointing. Look, yeah, she's been consistent, but we expected her to win a few runs back. Uh, but also, I think I've been running uh, Arena in a mile. I think it's a bit too far for her. I think the 14 is a right trip. And, uh, you know, after her last run, um, Sean, Sean asked me for that. He said, please let me ride the horse. And I'm so glad he, he was confident coming into the race today. And uh, yeah, just a big thank you to Sean. Billy Jacobson does a lot of work back home. So thank you to them and uh, to Prashane and Chris Pillay. Thank you very much for the support. I'm so glad that uh, she's, she's come through today. And even more that Prashane's got his family uh, at the races. So it's always good. How's the, the governor's string doing uh, back home? You know, I haven't caught up to you in, uh, in some time, but uh, how's the numbers looking? Yeah, these look yeah, it's tough uh, and it's something that I think all trainers throughout the country is experiencing. We got a, a small yard, but yeah, the horses have been consistent and uh, yeah, we're just hoping and hoping to find that special one. Well, well done with her and uh, all the best uh, with the rest of it because, uh, you know, now that she's got a confidence back, who knows? Yeah, uh, let's hope. And, and just want to say well done to Prashen. I think he paid 20000 for this filly. So it was a good buy and a uh, big thank you to him and all my uh, clients in the yard for the support. And a uh, big thank you to Sally's Finance. Thank you. Well played. Thank you. Seanville, well, you asked for the ride, you got it and you uh, delivered for the guys. Yeah, just well done to Yogis and his team, you know. I went to go work and I said to Miyogi, she could move a little bit better and obviously they got the physios involved and uh, that's what she shows at home to them, you know, she's been showing good work at home for them and uh, I've been begging him to ride this filly, you know, every time <laughs> I have to ride something else in the race or and today I just said, Yogi, please, when the noms came out, I said, please, Yogi, let her ride this filly and uh, thanks to him, you know, and to his team and to the owners for the opportunity, thank you very much. It's not always easy to get onto these type of maidens with form, but uh, when you're riding winners, these you can get onto anything, oh, sure. you know. And uh, even like uh, Keegan, he's riding for a lot of yards, but he can also get onto any horse he wants to at the moment because he's as hot as they come. And uh, we just gotta just take the right ones, these, you know, when the right ones come along, like this was the right filly in the race today. And I uh, must give a lot of credit to Billy also, he gave me the ins and outs about this filly. So well done to him, he also done a lot of work on her. And to my sponsors, John Doe, thank you very much. And obviously to my wife and my two boys, this one's for them. Before you leave us, the pick six starts in the next leg. We need all the help that we can. How does Seanville look from races three to eight? These, the horse I'm riding for Wendy in the next race, he, his work's been very good, you know, coming into the race. and. Uh, he has improved. I just don't know about the cross to the poly, yes. but if he reproduces his last run, I'll make the favorite run there. And then obviously the rest of my rides, I'm out there trying. And the filly of Wendy's in the last race, she was very unlucky last time. If she reproduces that run, I think she'll win. Some good information. We thank you so much. Just well done again to Yogis and his owners for the opportunity. Talking about his owners, let's get Prashen in. And Yogis mentioned, Prashen, that you bought this horse for 20,000 Rand, I mean that was an absolute steal. It was, yeah. We just got, it was the last house on the sale, nobody wanted her. And I just put up my hand at the last minute, so it all worked out. Each time she's come to the tractor, judging by the betting support, there has been confidence from the stable. There has been a lot of confidence, you know, we had a nice bet when she ran short head second with Rachel up. I don't think, I think she just got tired there, but uh, yeah, her form is good. I haven't paid a, a, a bill to Yogus from the time I started with him. I'm always in credit, so I'm happy about that. You know, whilst it's your passion to own a racehorse, it's nice that you, you know, you spread that passion amongst your family yes. and try and get them involved as well, because one day you'll never know. So nice to see the entire family on the course. Yeah, um, we especially took off today uh, Rush Church just to get here. Just want to thank Gold Circle for allowing me and my children to be in the parade ring. Yes. Um, it can be a bit difficult at times, but we're just asking for equality that's all and then also uh thank you to my partner chris Pelle in the sauce let's hope we can make it a double in the next
the name i have to ask you about the name did you choose the name uh yes it's my great my grandfather's name they used to call him kitty boy yes so i named him uh, named her kitty boy's girl yeah okay fantastic last word ma'am before we say goodbye we just happy that we got a winner and the whole family was here to witness it <laughs> okay all the best present to yourself and your family well done thank you well done to the guys here in uh, race number two up next will be the start of the pick six race number three at 13.30 and it is the big one we all love to catch.